Former Niagara Falls man who's been declared a dangerous offender and served prison time in Canada is now headed back to western New York. William Shrubsaw has a long history of violent offenses, but a Canadian parole board just said it will release him and deport him to serve prison time on this side of the border. News 4 Shannon Smith gives us the background on this very complicated case. Shannon? Don William Shrubsoul was valedictorian of his class in Niagara Falls, but he was convicted of beating his mother to death the day before his high school graduation. He also committed violent crimes in Canada and has served time on both sides of the border. Now at age 47, he's expected to come back to Western New York. This is a young William Shrubsoul crying in a Niagara County courtroom back in 1989. That year, he pleaded guilty to manslaughter for beating his mother to death with a baseball bat in their Niagara Falls home. I just want to say that I love my mother very much, Your Honor. After his release from prison in the 90s, Shrubsoul sexually assaulted a teenage girl in Niagara Falls. Before his sentencing, police say Shrubsoul faked his own death and escaped to Canada. According to CBC News, he was declared declared a dangerous offender in the early 2000s after being convicted of three violent sexual assaults of women in Canada. He spent over a decade there behind bars and changed his name to Ethan Templer McLeod. Even though he was denied parole in 2016, the parole board in Canada has just granted him what's called parole deportation. He'll get out of prison in Canada, provided he's sent back to the United States to serve the seven-year sentence for sexual assault in Niagara Falls that he dodged decades ago. I reached out to the Toronto lawyer who represented Shrubsoul during his parole hearings but didn't hear back. The Niagara County District Attorney says it's not clear when Shrubsoul will be transferred to the United States or when he'll be arraigned here. Shannon Smith, News 4.